already need to die. I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. My biggest accomplishment was failing the last house house qualifier and then rebuilding a new team with Lemon. For those of you who don't know who Cloud9 is, they've been very close to the cusp. This would be their chance to get in. It's gonna be an epic base race. Meanwhile, Mana managed to take down the Nexus 3 in the Cloud9 base. That's a kill. They're on towards the Nexus 3. It's like the end for Cloud9's journey at the regionals. Azure will be moving. So I went from failing the last qualifier pretty terribly into becoming the best team in North America for the moment. I think that's a pretty big accomplishment that the majority of people can't say they've done. Completely undefeated the series. Right when I first joined the team, I noticed that it was different than any other team I played on. All the players, they just got along really well and seemed to really understand the game. I think for people to be on a team, they all need to be really good friends with each other because you need to know that uh, your friend will have your back when you're going in like a fight or something. You, you need to trust what they're doing and what they can do. You need to know that if you want them to do X, they're able to do X. And I think that comes with friendship. So I think our team is very close-knit. We're all really good friends with each other. We trust each other with anything, our secrets, whatever. We talk about it all the time. So I think that correlates to team play and like just team fights and everything, I guess. Basically with this team, I feel like I can trust every call. Whereas with my old teams, I would never be able to trust half the calls and I would be making half the calls. Uh, whenever a call is made here, we all listen to it and it almost always works out. It's never like questionable, like should we go in here, should we do this? And then like we go in, it's like, oh, that didn't work, we shouldn't do that. It never really happens like that. It's If a call is made and we follow up on it correctly, then we usually come out on top. You have to trust whoever makes the shot caller, no matter what. Like even when bad calls were being made, which they have in the past, even with ours, you still have to follow them and commit to it. It's a bigger issue if people aren't committing to calls, rather than calls being made that are bad. Because calls being made that are bad can, will improve over time, but the lack of trust will cause more issues. To trust your teammates, I think you have to be good friends with them. So you, you have faith in them as a person since you know who they are, how they talk, what they'll do, and just how they act. For our team, we, we kind of work all together. Everyone has their own path on what they want to do, and we all contribute towards it. But uh, it's kind of like an ecosystem over here. Everyone has their own job they need to do, and we all do it well. Alex lives with us and it's sort of a more day-to-day -day sort of thing. He's usually there when we're scrimming to just have the spectator client open so we can go back and watch things in the game that we need to see. And he's good at researching for other teams. My main goal is to uh, minimize the amount of effort the players have to do outside of the game. I'll write down, if we're playing TSM, what they've played the last week, what they've played you know, over the past season, their win percentages with those champions. Uh, to try to figure out what their priority is. Some teams are more straightforward and you know what they're going to do. Some teams are a little bit crazy and they change things up you know, week to week. So it's really satisfying when you, know, you get the first picks all the way down, right? And your plan works out. By the way, Cloud9 picks faster than anyone I've seen here. They are basically lining up their pick as Dignitas is thinking about launch. To be at the top level of gaming, you have to commit everything. Like you can't be in school and be a professional gamer. It doesn't work together. We all have to fully commit to this. Like we can't pursue other jobs, we can't go to school, we can't do anything like that. We have to just fully put all our time into this and focus on this alone. Uh, I have to put my education on hold. I don't get to see my family very often. I don't really see any of my friends anymore except talking to them online, so it's a pretty big change. I left school to pursue my dream of being a professional gamer. I moved over to California, I lost my friends, my Close distance relationship is not a long distance relationship. And you, you, you lose out on a lot. You, you gain a new lifestyle, you gain new friends, you lose old friends, and you just have to basically become a new person, basically. Also, Medios has just been unkillable. He it's hard to say how our team will improve, especially when we're at the top of our game right now. We haven't had much competition within North America to really test our skill level, I guess. So. The next evolution will obviously be after Worlds. We'll either go to Worlds, win it, or get smashed by some team and then realize the faults in our team. When you're at the top, it's hard to know what to change to get better. Uh, you know, if we start losing games, then we'd have to like take a look at how we practice or how we, you know, research. Or but it's really hard to change anything when you're doing well. So I, it's it's hard to tell if we need more different things right now. A lot of what we do is just teamwork. We understand that it's a team game. And instead of like trying to look good in the game and get good scores ourselves and get all the farm ourselves and just try to 1v5 carry, none of us really do that and we understand that 
sharing farm is good. Uh, everyone want, needs to be strong in the team to win. I think teams could look at us and be like, oh, hey, they hang out a lot, they play a lot of Silicon. Just understand why we're doing that. We're increasing communication between people by hanging out with them, become better friends with them. So I think teams can definitely learn from what we're doing, and we can learn from other teams as well.